Hi, how you doing? I'm Peter. And I just had my first show at formerly Information Station. It is now called Sun Studio. I had six punk bands come, and a lot of them were actually very adept at what they do. Heavy the World, if you haven't heard of them, they're, they were very prolific back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. They actually have a very huge discography and stuff. And a lot of their stuff actually sells. One of their albums was still going for $120 on uh, eBay recently. I don't have uh, <laughs> I'm not cut out for this. I tried to do video for these guys and it didn't work out because their the their punk rock system didn't want to gel with my television system. So I don't know what else to do. Especially at showtime. If I have if I have if I have it to do again, I would like to have them show up earlier or have somebody dial in sound or maybe I need a better PA system, but I don't have a thousand dollars. I have two hundred thirty dollars that I collected at the door and I paid a door guy to do that and he was very very admirable and upright door guy. I had to bounce two people. I had to bounce three people and I let one back in. young kid that was drinking and stuff and I saw him drink some beer and then hand the can back to somebody else and I took the kid out and then I went back for the guy that handed him the beer and the guy that handed him the beer wanted to like take off his shirt and stuff and try and act all puff up at all and you know puff up at me or shit and I asked for punks to fucking get him out the fucking door and he was very angry and stuff like that, but I don't really give a fuck. And the thing is, afterwards, I found out that nobody in the scene knew him. Nobody knew the guy. He was some kind of weird Latino that came in and stuff like that, and he loved punk music and stuff, but the fact is that, dude, you can't be handing minors beer and stuff. And I told him to get the fuck out, and he didn't want to do it, so I had somebody take him out. The guy that took him out, I had to take him out, too, because he was doing kung fu kicks and stuff like that, and he booted, he booted this girl that was standing off to the side in her head twice. And I told him after the first time, I said, stop. And he said, no. And he's like, it's a punk show. And I'm like, dude, that's another punk show you went to. It's not my punk show. I said, you can, you can slam dance and stuff like that. Don't fucking kick people in the fucking face. I hate the music industry. I hate it from the fucking ground up. I hate it from the top down. And it's what I did to partially pay my bills. I made a lot of good contacts with, um... I made a lot of good contacts with some people today. Maybe some bands that are gonna come in, they're gonna call me soon. So they can come down and get noticed. They can get awesome video and stuff. I didn't get video tonight because the sound was just horrible. So all the sound got cut off and we just went with a live show. We have to do production and stuff like that and get people down there to do other stuff. I'm tired. I'm broke. I spent my last dollar on a pack of cheap ass cigars. I need your help. I need donations. I'm not trying to get rich. I'm just trying to keep my doors open. I'm trying to keep the law off me. I'm trying to do something good for everybody. And some people might have noticed that tonight. And I hope they come back. I hope they call me. I hope they work with me. I have to go down and hand all of my money to the landlord tomorrow and hopefully he will give me another week or two to try and work my work this out I'm not looking for some kind of giant cash cow that I can milk forever this is not a job that 
I'm just going to phone in and stuff. This is work. And this is what I want to do. I want to build a television studio where you can come down and with your band, your sketch comedy act, your stand-up act. And build your YouTube channel. Build it. The internet is so desperate for original content. And we're all tired of talking heads. I'm tired of them. Even the really good ones. The Ramsey Pauls, the Stephen Molyneux and stuff like that. The PewDiePies. They're great, but you know what they are? They're talking heads. There's more you can do with computers and technology and stuff than sit in front of your webcam. And I'm breaking my own rule right now of being one of those talking heads. But I have to tell somebody. I don't have anybody else to tell. I'm done. Like, I was about to roll up my game and bug out on all my bills and stuff. But now, now it seems like I'm really locked in to this and I really have to put up an effort I still have to go clean my place up there's beer cans and stuff like that there's a couple cigarette butts but I caught the people and I told them I said you all gotta smoke outside the cops came I called them after the dude was doing kung fu kung after the dude was doing kung fu flick Kung Fu kicks and stuff like that on in the mosh pit and stuff like that. And he kicked a girl in the head once or twice. I had to <laughs> I had to lay down the law and stuff. And he didn't want to leave. And he wasn't listening to me. And then there was some brave girl that told him to get the fuck out, and he did. And then he tried to <clears throat> And then he tried to uh argue with me about leaving. I was like, dude, you're done. He didn't realize that I'd paid armed security that night. Nobody there realized that my guy that was security <laughs> was packing heat. And it could have ended very badly for <laughs> for them. And this guy didn't do it. I didn't like him anyway. He had a shaved head and he had it all fucking tatted up. He didn't have hair, but he had tattoo all around his hairline and stuff. I don't approve, but it's a warning signal. Tattoos are a warning signal of maybe I make poor choices. And I kept him from making a poor choice and getting, getting cold stoned. Anyway, I suspect now I'm going to finish my cigar and I'm going to go to bed. And then I'm going to wake up early and go down to my place and make it spick and span and then drudge over to the bar where the owner of my building sometimes comes in he owns the bar he's in there often so I have to go give him every dollar I have so that maybe I can eke out another week there God is with me.